Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. We begin in the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Today's question has been sent in by Sister Ruqayya from London. She asks, can good deeds alone lead to Jannah without Iman? And the answer, at least in the Quran, is categorically and absolutely no. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is very clear in delineating and setting out the requirements for salvation and paradise in particular. In Surah An-Nisa, chapter 4, verse 124, he starts by saying, وَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ مِنَ الصَّالِحَاتِ مِنْ ذَكَرٍ أَوْ أُنْثَى So the starting is very universal. It's a declaration from Allah saying, whosoever, man in Arabic is for istighraq, it encompasses everything that comes within it. So he starts by casting a very wide net. Whosoever does good deeds, regardless of gender, regardless and irrespective of whether they're male or female. So, so far the verse is extremely universal, but then Allah introduces the qaid, the limit, the condition, the stipulation. He says, wa huwa mu'minun, provided that the person concerned is a believer, and then they have done good deeds. فَأُولَٰئِكَ يَدْخُلُونَ الْجَنَّةَ وَلَا يُظْلَمُونَ نَقِيرًا So then such shall enter Jannah, and they shall not be wronged in the least. So as you can see, wa huwa mu'minun. Being a believer and fulfilling the Iman requirements of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a must. And this, these Iman requirements, for those of us who have received the Qur'an and our Ummah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, our Iman requirements can be found very easily in Surah Al-Baqarah, Surah 2, verse 285. To believe in Allah, the last and final day of judgment, to believe in the angels, to believe in the scriptures, to believe in the messengers and not to distinguish or discriminate between them. All of these are Iman requirements for us, for the Ahlul Kitab and for those who have not received a higher level of guidance. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brings it down to in Surah 2 verse 62 and Surah 5. Verse 69, he brings it down to man amana billahi wal yawmil akhiri wa amila saliha. Believing in Allah, believing in the last and final day of judgment and doing good deeds. With this much, they achieve salvation for those who didn't receive more guidance and the kind of guidance that we have received. But Allah is not prepared to compromise on iman uh, in him, in Allah and also iman in the hereafter. If you look at the Quran and read it holistically, you will see that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes entering into Jannah or attaining salvation without belief in the hereafter as next to impossible, if not impossible itself. So, yeah, Iman requirements of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala absolutely have to be fulfilled in order to achieve salvation and entry into paradise. So what if a person has done a lot of good deeds and they don't have Iman? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala announces the outcome for such a person in verse 6, oh sorry, verse 5 of Surah 5, Surah Al-Ma'idah. At the end, he says, وَمَنْ يَكْفُرْ بِالْإِيمَانِ فَقَدْ حَبِطَ عَمَلُهُ وَهُوَ فِي الْآخِرَةِ مِنَ الْخَاسِرِينَ Allah says, anyone who rejects Iman, does kufr in Iman, you reject the Iman requirements of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah says, فَقَدْ حَبِطَ عَمَلُهُ Your amal, all the good deeds that you do after rejecting Iman and after failing the belief requirements of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, all the good deeds that you do, and they can be millions and billions. Allah says, doesn't matter. They will all be cancelled. They will all be invalidated and nullified. They'll be rendered worthless. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala warns against this outcome in the Quran, even in Surah 25, verse 23, for example, when he talks about the arrogant uh, disbelievers, the Quran recognizes that they have good deeds. But Allah says uh, in verse 23 of uh, Surah 25, he says, وَقَدِمْنَا إِلَى مَا عَمِلُوا مِنْ عَمَلٍ فَجَعَلْنَاهُ هَبَاءً مَنْثُورًا We're going to turn to their actions and all the deeds that they have done and we will scatter them like dust. So yes, Iman requirements of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are to be taken very seriously. We cannot mess with those. 
and get away with it in the hereafter. Wassalamu ala man ittaba al huda.